Welcome to the Age of Awakening. Please identify yourself. Enter. So we always start off each episode with our feature, Weekly Success Next. And this one has been inspired by a picture I saw on social media. And you know, on this podcast, we talk a lot about mindset concepts and how critical they are to our success and to our happiness and to our joy. Some examples might be, is what you think about, you bring about, or you can't solve a problem with the same level of thinking that created the problems. And there are other mindset topic uh, related issues that I discuss all the time. You can go back into the queue and see those. But like I said, it's all in an effort to help you attract and create more abundance and prosperity into your life. That's the whole mission of this show is empowering people to live their very best life. So whether you want to grow or scale a business, whether you want to create dynamic and absolutely tremendous relationships built on trust and love and respect, whether it is you want more health, abundant health, more freedom of time, financial security, flexibility, whatever it is, I believe this photo really summed it up perfectly. And I'm going to read it to you slowly. Not that you can't understand it, but uh, I want to make sure that all the words touch your nervous system and it resonates with you. So here's what it said. It said, the universe responds to your frequency. It doesn't recognize your personal desires, wants, or needs. It only understands the frequency in which you're vibrating at. For example, if you're vibrating in the frequency of fear, guilt, or shame, you're going to attract things of a similar vibration. If you're vibrating in the frequency of love, joy, and abundance, you're going to be vibrating to attract things that support that frequency. Guys, it's like tuning into a radio station. You have to be tuning into the music you want to listen to, just like you have to be tuned into the energy you want to manifest and create into your life. Like I wrote my book, Change Your Mind, Change Your Destiny. When we change the way we look at things, the things that we look at change, which is an incredible quote from Dr. Wayne Dyer. And so if you're not experiencing, and if you're not, if you haven't been attracting the things in your life that you desire, think about the energy you've been putting out. What's the dominant emotions you've been consistently present in? And let's see if we can begin to change it and shift it. Shift those negative beliefs, shift those, those limiting beliefs, those low energy emotions into higher energy emotions. Empower yourself with positive beliefs because I argue that each and every one of you have more than enough examples in your life when you've been happy, when you've been abundant, when you've been joyful. That's what we want to connect to. 